All right, guys, it's currently 1258, which means we're two minutes away from week two of the NFL. Well, technically, it already, I guess, started with Thursday Night Football, but you know what I mean. So Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Falcons, two teams I've, I've always loved. I mean, honestly, the Falcons going out and getting Desmond Ritter, Drake London, AK in the second round, they've got a very talented team. I thought for sure they were going to win week one, dude. It would have been a huge upset, but we're talking Hawks in this one. And I just read an article earlier this morning, and it was talking about DeJounte Murray. It was saying, look, going out and getting an elite defender who is giving you 21, 8, and 9 is great, but it doesn't matter if you don't win the championship. And first of all, that is completely untrue. I mean, winning a championship we know is difficult, but this move significantly bolstered the Hawks' roster. What did they struggle with? A secondary ball handler, a defender next to Trey. They got both of those for, what, three first-round picks and a pick swap? Murray is only 25. He's under contract for, I want to say, two more seasons. He's an all-star. You've Now you've got Trey Young, who, in my opinion, is a superstar. Could care less what anyone has to say. Trey Young, you can win a championship with him as your best option. We just saw him take the Hawks to the Easter Conference Finals, and – the roster is significantly better now than that. So what's going to happen now? I know the East is better and things like that, but I use Trey, one of my favorite players. I get every single day someone comments that I look like Trey Young. Let me pull up a picture of Trey Young, actually. I want to see this. I actually look like Trey Young. Hold on, let me, how do I zoom in? I kind of feel stupid for not knowing this, but oh, there we go. Can you guys see that? I actually can kind of see. I can kind of see it. I don't know. It's kind of funny, but let me let me zoom out of that because it's like really off topic. But all right. So, anyways, we talk about Murray and him and Trey is as good as it gets, honestly. Especially in the East. I mean, I, I guess Tatum and Brown would be better, but and I guess you could also debate like, well, I mean, Giannis and Giannis and Middleton's pretty damn good as well. Harden and Embiid, but I, I just Trey and Murray just complement each other so well. And we've started to see just just a, a different DeJounte Murray. Even though the games haven't started, we've seen a different Murray since he actually arrived in Atlanta. Like that personality is being unlocked, right? Like when you're playing in San Antonio, you don't you don't really I'm not saying anything it's the Spurs, but you know, Murray's just been way more active and chatting, and that's something the Hawks need, bro. But like the bigger picture here isn't even Murray and Trey. That's what everyone's gonna talk about in a Hawks video, but can we talk about the rest of this roster? Like, look how good the Hawks roster is. And if you actually watch Hawks games and follow them, you would understand what I'm saying, which thank this is a Hawks channel, so everyone does. But, like, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Clint Capella, Bogdan Bogdanovich is legit a six-man of the year player. And I know six-man might not sound that sexy, but, like, he could start on any single team. He could start for the Hawks if, if he wanted to. Like, he's very talented. And take a look at his numbers last season. I mean, he put up 15 points per game, four rebounds, and three assists. And this is a weapon off of the bench. Let's take a look at his splits. 37 from three, 43 from the field, 84 from the line. And it's only going to improve now. It's really only going to go up from here. I mean, he is – I did not know he was 30. I thought he was younger. But he's a good player, dude. Very good player. Doesn't get talked about enough. And – they have the Holiday brothers. Unfortunately, they don't have Drew Holiday, but you know Aaron Holiday and Justin Holiday are both pretty good. Um, Ineki Akangwu, one of my favorite young players in this league, just 21 years old, to be 22 in December. Crazy young, showed a lot of promise when he was getting starts and even just minutes. So keep an eye on him. I mean, good numbers, really good numbers for the you know, lack of minutes that he played. I mean, 20.7 minutes per game, dude. I like Akangwu a lot. Frank Kaminsky was pretty solid last season for the Suns. They bring him in and, you know, they draft AJ Griffin uh, 16th. A lot of people had him like top 10 at one point. So upside there as well. Uh, Jalen Johnson, another young guy that they have uh, Trent Forrest. I want to say they just signed. I could be wrong in that. I think they might have been today or yesterday. They just signed him to a contract and Chris Silva is Chris Silva. I don't know anything about him. That's being the truth. But yeah, just a short video. I want to go watch football, man. But I am going to be making more Hawks videos. And I actually think I'm going to, why, why didn't I make, I should, I'm going to make Falcons videos. I love the Falcons. So, you know, be a little bit more diverse here. But thank you guys. 
Uh, we, we're at 90 subs. Let's hit 100 subs, man. Next time I check on this video, 100 subs, bro. We can do it, guys. But appreciate you, Atlanta sports fans. Y'all got some good fans, good teams, and let's ride. For real, let's ride, bro. Let's we'll go out there and get a championship.